If you're a real estate agent, you absolutely need to be taking advantage of video marketing. It doesn't matter if you're new, experienced, a broker, or a team lead. As an agent, you're already searching for leads, trying to build trust, and ultimately rise to the top of your local market. Successful video marketing can help you do all these things, and once you get your first taste of success, there's really no going back. Hey everyone, my name's Darren Dowling. I'm an agent and area expert with Beyond Realty in the Sarasota, Florida area. This is the first of my four part series explaining everything video as it relates to real estate. Why you need to start producing content, what gear to be using, how to find a professional videographer, how to come up with ideas and scheduling. We really cover as much as we can in this series and I hand out my playbook that I've developed over the past few years for completely free. So let's do this. Number one, you can literally market every aspect of yourself and your work. For example, I like doing educational videos. I go over market statistics, trends, and additional data. This makes me an educated expert in my area and this content goes out to my database they reach back out to me if they have any questions in regards to the content that I've put out that week. It's a good talking point and it helps start conversations. Number two, most importantly, you're generating trust. And I've got the perfect example of this. I have a good friend of mine that reached out to me as everyone in his neighborhood was getting new roofs. And so I asked a simple question of, well, how old is your house? It's like, it's not even 20 years old. That's really weird that your neighbors are getting new tile roofs. So it's like, don't panic. There's no need for you to want to have to sell your house over an issue like this. Let me sync you up with some of my vendors. They went out, found out there was actually nothing wrong with his, his roof. There must have been a different subcontractor for other homes in the development that were having substantially more issues than him cleared the roofing inspection fine there was not even a slip tile there was no leaks nothing i mean this guy had paid a company to come out to intentionally find something wrong with the house so through the educational content and building trust he asked me a question i helped him out with his issue i didn't list the house that wasn't the whole goal it's about trust and being honest with your clients friends family this person ended up just refinancing their house taking out a huge chunk of equity and update in their house. It looks absolutely phenomenal now. I'm super happy for them. But again, it's all part of being educated, having your good vendor database, and again, just being a good, honest person to do the best thing. And that doesn't necessarily mean making a sale. Number three, you're generating new leads and passive income in the background. If you know me, I'm big into cool and expireds and fizzbos. That's how I got my start in real estate. I didn't have a huge database. I had no history in the business at all. So video has definitely helped bring in a new pillar of buyers and sellers that see my videos, they connect with the content, they reach out to me and become buyers, sellers, and or they are referring me to their friends and family because of the trust that has built up. Also from a passive income standpoint, there is a way to monetize your content and bring in some dollars through platforms like YouTube. Number four, when you're releasing quality content, you're growing, diversifying, and reinforcing your brand across so many platforms. There's YouTube, there's Facebook, there's Instagram, there's LinkedIn, and there's TikTok. That's five channels right there, and there is more. But let's just talk about, about diversifying and having a different type of demographic. I've got a lot of interest and questions through LinkedIn. Now those clients are more high net worth, professional corporate um, clients that are gonna be looking to relocate or know someone that is. Then you've got on the flip side, much younger pool of viewers on TikTok. Now they're not even probably allowed to buy a house right now because they are younger or they're just simply nowhere near ready in a employment part of their life. However, your content is showing up so regularly that when they are ready and they are old enough, you will be their go-to uh, agent at the end of the day. You've got in front of them early and you've been that, that Gary V of real estate on TikTok. 
And that's, I think, the perfect example of diversifying and reinforcing your brand on multiple platforms. Number five, unrelated to real estate, video is the new generation. Video simply is king. Humans have got such a low attention span right now, no one wants to click through 20 to 40 photos just to stay interested in something. They wanna see live video, they wanna see something entertaining, they wanna hear good music, they want it to have a look, a feel that they can connect with and ultimately engage with you about. According to Adam Masseri, the CEO of Instagram, he's quoted in saying, we're no longer a photo sharing app. Video is driving an immense amount of growth online for all the major platforms right now. And it's one that I think we need to lean into more. If you're thinking about getting more seriously into the videography side within real estate, I'll have a video linked above and below about the more technical side of it. Things like the gear, platforms for finding a videographer, what qualities to look for. But nonetheless, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe.